Hey guys, this is a pick a card reading. This is for light workers and empaths. So if you identify with that label, this is the reading for you. If you don't, um, don't worry about it. You can still watch the reading. Um, choose from piles one, two, or three. You can choose more than one pile. Um, of course, only um, take the messages that resonate for you. And also, if you did want a personal reading with me, then please contact me via my email or my social medias. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So this is group one. So this is for light workers and star seeds. So this card here, um, it's a wish card. It's this card basically proclaims that something that you've been wishing for, hoping for, manifesting is actually about to come true for you. Um, it's like you know the dandelions when you you like this is what it stands for. It's a dandelion when you kind of close your eyes and you blow on it and make a wish and then these seeds basically germinate and move around till they're planted and they can grow and basically I feel like for this group that's happening with you guys um also 46 equates down to 10 so you might be seeing 10 10 um something may happen on the 10th 10 may just be a significant um number for you some of you may be um born on the 10th and um just pay attention when you see tens and ten represents like the end of a chapter going into a new beginning so as you go into this new chapter there will be this wish granted there will be this manifestation i also keep seeing lots of stars so some of you may be um from pleiades syrian lyra um Andromedum and Arctur arcturius um I'm just seeing a lot of that. I'm working with astrology at this time. Working with your own astrology at this time may help you um, move forward within your life. So specifically working with your sun, moon and rising and understanding what that means for you and yourself, I feel like would really help you at this moment. And then we have Isis, um, which is one of the Egyptian goddesses. So you may have affiliation with Egypt. You may have family that are from Egypt, you may be in the future travelling there, or you may just have like a past life there. You might be drawn to um, Egyptian like goddesses, um, clothing, you might be drawn to one of the crystals that they use a lot, so lapis lazuli and turquoise. Um, so if you feel called to be working with crystals at the moment, those would be good crystals to work with, especially if you've been having any sort of kind of communication problems. So I do see you kind of standing in your, in your power soon and um, standing in your strength and your courage and you're going to be able to move forward with whatever it is that you put your mind towards and I'm also seeing here like if you look at her the way she's positioned the way she is standing it's like a power pose so I feel like if you have been um, a little bit lacking in confidence lately if you stand in that position like in front of the mirror and just repeat to yourself positive affirmations I feel like that's really going to help you I've just seen free 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 on the clock which represents um, creativity fertility new beginnings abundance um, I feel like there's a lot of feminine energy whether you're masculine or feminine it doesn't matter I feel like there's just a lot of feminine energy within this group quite archetypal quite mothering quite nurturing um, and actually that's a really good energy to have around you at the moment it's very um, protective um, also I feel like there's quite a lot of and take this how it resonates there's a grandmother here watching over you um, that's for someone in particular um, I think you'll feel their presence and I think they probably leave you certain signs particularly on your bed like you'll leave the room and come back and there'll be something on your bed and you'll know that that's your grandmother leaving something for you I'm also hearing to work with the solar plexus at this time, um, whether it be with like Reiki or um, certain foods within your body, pay attention to how you feel when you eat certain things, pay attention to your thoughts um, and pay attention to like your stomach when you are in certain situations, tune in to how you're actually feeling. Um, and then we have the number nine, so some of you may have to go through one kind of hurdle but I feel like this hurdle might be a little bit internal um, so 
just know that if you stay strong within your strength and your courage, you're going to be able to move through to go to this tent to get to your wish. You just need to, um, you know, be accountable for yourself and stand within your power. I'm also seeing that um, if you look up into the clouds, some of you, this might be a really good way to kind of channel and understand certain things. Like if you look at the cloud formation in the sky um, and see what kind of images come out for you and write them down and look up the meanings because there can be additional meaning there and support for you. Um, yeah, and then we have Atlas. So you can actually... Um, look into who that is um, if you want to go more into that but I feel like Isis is probably um, your main guide at the moment that is working with you and there with you um, as like your guiding strength and protector and here we have responsibility so right now I feel like you are taking responsibility for your life and your decisions and through doing that um, you're going to get a wish come true basically. Um, so I'm going to leave it there guys, you may have a few more messages in one of the other piles if you feel guided to, um, but yeah, please give me a thumbs up, let me know down in the comment section if this resonates for you, um, it helps out my algorithms, it helps me out um, so much, and if you did want a personal reading with me, um, then yeah, everything's down in my description box. I'm going to move on now guys. So this is group two, this is for the light workers and star seeds. So first off we have Arlo and he is like the key part of the crystals. Um, he works really well with um, like speakers and talkers and motivational um, basically people, people that want to affirm power within their life over certain um, situations where they feel powerless. Working with again blue crystals would help you um, so I'm hearing to work with like Aquamar Aqu Aquamarine, Amanzanite, Laramere um, and Kunzanite I feel like would be really good crystals to work with, specifically wear them as jewellery or um, just place them on your throat chakra and go into like a meditation even if you just do it for two minutes a day. Communication's coming up strong here. So if you have specifically had a throat chakra block, um, I do feel that by you working on your throat chakra, it's gonna open up communication. And I feel like a lot of truth um, is gonna be activated within you guys soon. I do have a, I believe a throat chakra healing on my channel, uh, Reiki video. So if you wanna look that up, or if you did want a Reiki session with me, um, then feel free to email me. I'm also seeing here like the moon symbolism, um, if you see it here, so I'm not sure if that's waxing or waning, I think it's waxing, so if you um, look up when we're in a waxing moon, that would be a good time for you to work on your throat chakra, that would be a good time to write down what it is that you want, um, that would just be a good time to kind of work with your energy for this group I feel like. I also feel like your third eye is going to be activated by the next full moon, which I believe is on, in some places it's on the 22nd, um, and in some places on the 24th of this month. So I definitely feel around the time of that moon, your third eye is going to be activated, um, and you may receive some kind of downloads, um, specifically to do with like what you're meant to create in this world, who you're meant to be, what you're meant to become. You may have already, for some of you, been going through that already, um, but I just feel like it's going to be heightened around this time. Some of you may have a face tattoo, or you may be thinking about getting a tattoo on your arm, something tribal I'm hearing. Um, yeah, and then we have, so you may be seeing rainbows, so pay attention to the signs. Um, when you are thinking something and then you know it's a rainbow somewhere or a rainbow pops up for you, just pay attention to what that means for you and what you're thinking about at that time. Um, and, you know, what a rainbow represents to you. Some of you may be rainbow children, you may have rainbow children. Um, you may just be connected to that energy or maybe you want to do like a rainbow meditation and like to clear out your chakras. Some of you um, might want to work with chakra healing. Um, so YouTube, chakra healing, meditation, or again, um, go to a Reiki healer or go to a different kind of healer if you don't want to do it yourself. 
and then we have the snake symbolism here um, which is all about transformation and change and shedding your skin um, in order to be transformed into something new and I'm also seeing the water again which represents the throat and communication um, you may even want to look into water divination and looking into the water on a reflective surface and basically seeing what images come up for you um, and write them down and just see how that pertains to your life. So I don't know how to say that so I'm not going to. Um, but she is one of your protectors at the moment. She is one of the um, goddesses working with you. You may be coming across a lot of... Um, I was going to say bird symbolism, but I heard butterfly. So you might be seeing butterflies a lot. You might be seeing um, crows a lot and eagles. Or you will be. And we have reinvention. So you're, yeah, like with the snake, you're transforming, you're progressing, you're, um, you're shedding your skin. And then we have Thanos, death. Um, that's not a literal death. That's um, metaphoric. So it's like... Um, it's like you're going into the old underworld to be reborn again. So it's like um, a phoenix. A phoenix has to fall in order for them to go through the ashes and rise again. And I feel like that's what's happening with this group. You're kind of going through this ascension. You're going through this regeneration in order to um, birth a new dawn, birth a new age, birth into something within yourself. I'm here and working with oh my god, so blues in all of these, so working with your throat chakra, working with the colour blue and working with the colour green um, would be really good for you guys to wear, eat green or blue foods like blueberries and leafy greens, um, working on your heart chakra and your throat chakra I feel would be really good, I also feel like, so it's like here we have a light, so you will be, if you have been going through like dark night of the soul um, or a kind of a funk or depression, I do feel like there's someone around you here guiding you trying to shine the light on this situation so there is help around you so never feel that you're alone all you just have to do is ask for help or call for help even if you feel like there's not anyone in your physical surroundings just ask spirit or a past loved one or you know someone that you feel guided to talk to to help you because there is guidance there for you um yeah and i also feel like a lot of you you, it's like here it's like there's duality and it, I feel like you're kind of you might be seeing dragon symbolism a lot so I feel like you are um, like slaying your dragons um, and you're understanding why your fears are there and how you need to face them in order to come through and get to the light um, so yeah guys if this did resonate let me know down in the comment section it helps out my algorithms and it helps me out and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you did want a personal reading with me then please contact me via email or my social medias I'm gonna move on now so this is group three and this is for the light workers and the star seeds so for some of you I'm getting that you've been grieving a loss of someone now this can be a physical loss or this can be um, you feel like you've lost certain aspects of yourself or maybe you've lost a relationship or a job or you just feel like you're losing at life now is if that is the case you will get through this um, you know and there's there's different stages of grief and loss but you will get to the stage of acceptance and of understanding you just may not be there just yet and that's okay and it's okay to cry and it's okay to feel stuck and it's okay to feel like what's the point that's okay don't run away from how you're feeling um, and don't put yourself down for feeling a certain way if you need to cry if you need to be angry if you need to say something to someone you know if you need to punch a pillow if you need to write it out do it do what is best for you that is healthy that can help you release what you're going through right now this is the intergalactic mermaid so you might be drawn to water at the moment and using water energy to heal you i'm hearing white light meditations um, specifically in the shower is really going to help you to cleanse your emotions also epsom salt baths is really good to detox the body and the emotions um, 
and even programming your water. So get a glass of water and hold it in your hands and put loving energy into the water. Think loving thoughts in the water, just like, right, I want to feel good, I want to feel happy. I'm programming my water for that. Then drink the water trying to feel those feelings. I'm honestly hearing that's going to help you guys so much. Um, and then 6 said 3 equates to 9. So um, you might be linked to the second group. So I feel like if you're in this situation right now, you'll be going to the second group um, once you've kind of gone through this phase. So it's like you're at a hurdle at the moment, you feel stuck, you feel lost, but you will get through this. Working with your heart chakra and green energy is really going to help you. Calling on Archangel Raphael, I do sense that he is around quite a lot of you guys. Um, so just call on him, work with his energy to help you heal, to help you grieve. Um, visiting the beach I think would help and um, if you've been called to collect some shells and stuff like that um, I just feel like that's going to help you to have that in your environment to help you feel a lot more connected um, and I, I see like waterfall energy here um, and I also see like crystal grids so that's a message out there for someone. Maybe you want to look into certain things with waterfalls, going visiting certain waterfalls and working with um, crystal grids for like healing or heart healing and stuff like that. Yeah, and then we have Hina, courage. So you will get through this. You just have to take the time to kind of breathe through it. Like she has her eyes closed right now. So I feel like what is going on? You're not currently wanting to see. You don't want to go through it. You just want to stop. You just want it to stop. But have the courage to push through. Yeah. And believe that <laughs> tomorrow is a better day. And even if it's not, it will be soon enough. So try and count your blessings, even in the most heartbreaking of times because there is something to be grateful for even if it is just I have running water you know I have a home or I have people that love me or you know I get to look up at the sky and walk on the grass you know even if it's the most simplest things if you can look at what are blessings within your life I feel like that's really going to help you right now and then here we have the stars and moon um, so drawing stars and moon um, like on paper creating stars and moon art or anything artistic would be really good to help you kind of get through this process at the moment specifically if you're dealing with loss um, or just particular darkness within yourself um, yeah I'm seeing the number three as well um, and I'm hearing the free fates. Um, so if you're called to look up who the free fates are and see how that pertains to your life, particularly in the future, I'm hearing. Also, a really good film is on Netflix. Um, it's called Serpendipity. I feel like for some of you, that might be just a really nice um, film to watch to kind of help you believe in the magic again of things. So we have Hecate. So Hecate is like your goddess around you at the moment and she's the goddess of witchcraft and the occult um, and the crossroads and like fate. And I work with her quite a lot. She is a really good goddess to work with. You can light a candle. So it's good to work with her at night. You can light a candle at night and just evoke her, call on her to please help you deal with this grief or this shadow work or this depression or whatever it is you're going through. Um, not only that, she is digging like this knife into her hand and to me it represents there's this change coming from within you. But in order to have change on the outside, you have to change what's going on in the inside and that takes time. And then we have the symbolism here of um, mother maiden crone. So you might be called to look into that. I get, that's why I was getting the stars and the moon um, because the mother maiden crone um symbolism or whatever it's called uh the symbol of it you might want to look up that symbol and look up mother maiden crone um and find out what aspect you're in at the moment so it's like cycles and we all go through cycles sometimes we're going to be um in the maiden cycle or the mother cycle or the crone cycle um so it will just vary what cycle you're all in at the moment um, 
but yeah I you know I just want you to know you will get through this and better times are coming um, and if you need to reach out to anyone feel free to reach out to me um, even if you need you know just some words of encouragement and stuff like that but yeah guys if you did like this reading please let me know down in the comment section it helps out my algorithms it helps me out um, please like share and subscribe um, and if you did want a reading with me then please contact me via my email or contact and reach out on my social medias and have a beautiful lovely blessed day guys bye bye